Okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Your Honor. So I'm clear, would you consider a big old piece of concrete a weapon if I hit you on the head with it? If you hit me in the head with concrete, yes. I would How about if I just took your head and smashed it onto concrete? May I use your dog for a moment? Of course. Let's just use this for a moment because I want to follow up on some of Mr. Guy's questions. So, George Zimmerman, Trayvon Martin. Were the injuries on Mr. Zimmerman's back of his head consistent with someone doing this on cement? I, I don't think so. How about this? How about somebody resisting the attempt, the injuries, the two lacerations? Could that have come from cement? If somebody was resisting me pushing down like I, this? I, I believe so. I believe it was a culmination of downward force, whether it was from pushing or striking, and I know clearly by the injuries to his face, and that driv would drive him back, his head striking hard into the concrete. Would you expect, based upon your training and experience, that somebody getting their head struck on the cement would attempt to resist it happening? Uh, they, of course, they would, you know, normal human instinct would try to move away from the pain stimulus, which would just create a, another gap to be driven back. And, and would that occur not only the first time, but every subsequent time? Every, if, whether it's a push or a strike, every time you blow, drive a strike or push straight downward, the body goes until it hits a, an object that'll stop it. Did you see the um, pictures of the injuries that showed punctate bruising and, and lacerations on the side of Mrs. Zimmerman's head? Those were the, when I said rain, blows raining down earlier, you know, that those were the things that really caught my eye that supported the fact that it was a striking and not a pushing so much because of all of the, lack of a better word, injury or damage that I saw on the side of the head. There's swelling all around his head. It's not just the facial area, it's all around the front well, of the head. Those injuries consistent with somebody pushing a head down to the side. You see me move it to the side like that, that similar to that hitting cement. It, it could be. It could be that, or it could be punches as well, driving those strikes in. And then on the other side, would the, the injuries consist in hitting it down on the side, on the left side of Mr. Zimmerman? It could be, and you, you know, and just like uh, Mr. Guy pointed out, if Mr. Zimmerman is on the bottom, and he's not just laying there, he is moving, whether he's trying to defend himself, trying to do his, his sliding techniques or whatever they are, as he's turning his body or his head in those efforts, it's gonna redirect and realign, so whatever push or punch comes in next, if he's turned this way, it's gonna be a strike to a side, the front, that's all indicative of an ongoing combat event. Now talking about the angle, Mr. Guy, I think was suggesting that we need to stay focused with the angle of entry of the wound being basically 90 degrees, so it's straight in, correct? That's what he said, yes. Now, that could happen, of course, as Mrs. Mr. Guy suggested, maybe something like this, if Mrs. Trayvon Martin is trying to now back away at the end of the 45 seconds of screaming, correct? Correct. Uh, do you agree that that's a possibility? Uh, absolutely, it's a possibility. Do you have any evidence that beyond a reasonable doubt that is what happened? No. Could it happen this way? Yes. Same angle. Could it happen yes. this way? Yes. Could it happen if Mr. Martin is reaching back with his hand for yet the final strike or something like that? Could it happen right there when he's coming back over? As long as the alignments of the body stay within those same relative positions, where they are within that axis of movement, it, it's a possibility. Now, you know that Mr. Zimmerman was, in fact, able to get his gun out of the right side hip, correct? Yes. Now, somehow he got to that, correct? Correct. Do you, how much weight do you give to Mr. Zimmerman's ability to disclose and to advise exactly how that happened? Not a lot. Why not? Because when he became aware of the presence of the, the firearm, um, he reached for it. He, the transition under stress, the transition of how it got into the hand is kind of moot. And you know, my background, training, and experience, I've interviewed numerous police officers involved in shootings. And frequently I hear, I, I shot that. Well, when you draw, they're not clear on how they got into position, they just know they did it. Instinctually, survival mechanism, whatever it is, the point still remains, the gun was in his hand and he did in fact discharge it. And he discharged it in a way that was in contact with billowing clothing that was two to four inches away from his chest, correct? Correct, which, you know, when we think about the movements, if he's moving with the, 
think it was an Arizona iced tea in his jacket, the, the hoodie. Transitioning, leaning forward, if that body position is there, that T is going to keep it away as they transition back. If he's leaned, at some point leaning too far back or whatever, trying to get up, that T is going to be pushing the shirt the opposite direction because it's going with the motion too. At what point and where they were, I can't specifically say. Okay. In the context of your training experience is the way combat events and how they occur, is it possible that at some point Mr. Martin was in fact up here? There's, there's no question that it's possible because and during the event, when he says he's sliding down, I don't expect Mr. Martin to be able to match him move for move. Is it possible that at some point he was up on his chest? Yes. Okay. Is, you know, then he slides back. And is it possible that at some point he was here? Sure. And how about is it possible that at some point during that dynamic altercation he was even this far down? It's possible. When he's this far down, just over the thighs, where is that hip holster? I'm not going to ask you to get up. Just tell me when to stop my finger as to where the hip holster stop. is. Right here. Yes, sir. Available right to line. Mr. Zimmerman at that point. Yes, sir. Is it available to him at this point? Yes, sir. How about up here? Yes, sir. I is my, at this point, where you say it's available, what is my tie pointing down towards? Can His you belly that? button. My tie is pointing directly to the belly button? Yes, sir. Based upon your training experience, was there just how much thrashing or movement was happening in that dynamic event between these two men at that point? I would have to say a lot. Was that evidenced by the, the contusions and abrasions on Mrs. Zimmerman's head? Yes, sir. I mean, the clothing showing the contact, the wet spots on the clothing. You know, I think that you're not going to be involved in an encounter like this without it being dynamic.